mathematics where you might have heard the terms vertex, edge, and face is geometry. A polyhedron is a geometric solid made up of flat polygonal faces joined at edges and vertices. We are especially interested in convex polyhedra, which means that any line segment connecting two points on the interior of the polyhedron must be entirely contained inside the polyhedron. Hey everyone, real quick, I just want to mention that this video is a part of a whole course that I made. You can find a link to this entire course in the description below and make sure to click on that subscribe button. Notice that 8 minus 12 plus 6 equals 2. The vertices, edges, and faces of a cube satisfy Euler's formula for planar graphs. This is not a coincidence. We can represent a cube as a planar graph by projecting the vertices and edges onto the plane. One such projection would look something like this. Maybe this is the bottom face of the cube. And again, it doesn't need to be a perfect square because this is just some sort of projection. We're bending things. And so this would be maybe the other face. And we know that this uh, vertex is uh, adjacent to that one and so forth. So that's one such projection. Now you've probably, you're probably familiar with this version of the cube. But one problem with this projection here is we have edges crossing. We can draw this diagram by stretching things around and it's the same graph, but we can make it planar and that's really important. In fact, every convex polyhedron can be projected onto the plane without edges crossing. Think of placing the polyhedron inside a sphere with a light at the center of the sphere. The edges and face and vertices of the polyhedron cast a shadow onto the interior of the sphere. You can then cut a hole in the sphere in the middle of one of the projected faces and stretch the sphere to lie down flat on the plane. That face that was punctured becomes the outside face of the planar graph. The point is, we can apply what we know about graphs in particular, planar graphs, to convex polyhedra. Since every convex polyhedron can be represented as a planar graph, we see that Euler's formula for planar graphs also holds for convex polyhedra as well. We also can apply the same sort of reasoning we use for graphs in other contexts to convex polyhedra. For example, we know that there is no convex polyhedron with 11 vertices, all of degree three, as this would make 33 halves edges, which is not possible. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next lecture.